All right, what's up, y'all? I got tagged by Batjack JW. Uh, I need to show my six firearms I'm grateful to have, or something like that. This was originally started by Gunwild One, I do believe. So let's head on over to the table and see what I got. Welcome to the Snake Pit. All right, <laughs> we got the sound of freedom flying by, taking off. Always awesome. So my first one here, I want to show that I'm grateful I got, I guess. This is my first pistol I ever purchased. I've showed this before. Smith & Wesson 990L, which was the law enforcement version. I was allowed to order it with my military ID at the time. All right, I did order this one in 40 cal. Yeah, that's what was trending at the time. You know, so that's what I got. And really, it's been a super reliable I used to take it to the range a lot because obviously it was the only pistol I had. And it's a keeper for me because, you know, it's my first one, first pistol I ever purchased. Now, I'll leave it with this. This is not to be confused with the Smith & Wesson SD series, which was just a straight-up ripoff of a Glock. And they had some issues in the beginning. I think they've ironed those out. But this was an actual partnership with Walther based on their P99 series. And... You know they're great so all right second pistol I have up here the Ruger SR 1911 this was my first 1911 and let me tell you if you're looking for a 1911 that's accurate reliable and won't break the bank so to speak check out Ruger uh, it's been great it's been phenomenal I actually carry this one I do have a set of lock grips on it and that's basically all I've done other than maintaining it keeping it clean that type of thing and yes it is loaded and ready to go as I am carrying it today alright third pistol and you know it's not easy to choose really because I'm grateful for everything I have but I am a Ruger fanboy however I thought I'd show one of the um, one of the Rugers that I carry quite often because it's so easy to carry as a pocket carry and that is the Ruger LCP now this is first generation I when I got this went to the range got comfortable with it that's very important with this little one because it is small in the hand now I do have the seven round extended mag and one in the chamber so that offers eight now that's 380 I run hydroshocks federal hydroshocks in here you do your own research whether or not you're comfortable with that but if you need if you're in a situation where you need something smaller or even as a backup Ruger LCP now they do have a second generation of this and they had another one that was in the interim that had larger sights but again you get comfortable with that you're not shooting long distance with this thing or at least that's not the intention DeSante's holster pretty much my go-to for a pocket carry love it very comfortable and it covers the trigger guard nicely all right technically this one is still a pistol so I guess I snuck a fourth one in on you <laughs> and uh, this will be the final one on the tabletop I have to switch to holding the other two rifles just to get them in camera frame but my little AR-15 pistol build here that I did in 300 blackout and this was you can see the theme here we got some uh, flat dark earth stuff going on here now pretty much basically a budget build so to speak you know Bushnell red dot but it does what's really cool about that one is if I can get it on camera here you can see it actually has a set of backup sights built into the top of it now you know you just got to keep in mind sight picture sight way up here barrel way down here so adjust accordingly <laughs> when you're aiming but it's nice that it has built-in set of backups that way I didn't have to put any flip-ups or anything on there just a little bit cleaner for as long as I run that and yes this was kind of you know e me if you watch that channel I mean, he's got a, a AR pistol chambered in 556 I do believe and it's uh, got the FDE and it's it's got more way more uh, gadgets and and goodies on it than uh, this one but that's kind of uh, uh, the inspiration so to speak for this one I know most people suppress theirs but I'm not paying that tax stamp 
and plus I won this Huber Concept square break and it keeps this sucker this is the the, the most fun <laughs> shooting uh, AR pistol I have I have another one chambered in 556 and that one just beats you the hell up this one yeah it throws out some some shockwave to the sides but it keeps it in line that the square break is amazing from Huber Concepts and yeah and then got a QD mount option there for a single point sling if you're into that type of thing there we go snuck in another pistol all right <laughs> you're gonna have to endure looking at my ugly mug for these next two there's too big for the table I can't get a good camera angle first one actually a shotgun Mossberg 500 CT 20 gauge this was my grandfather's passed down to me from my father don't know a lot of information on it other than it's well used <laughs> when I got it it had looked like it hadn't been cleaned in a long time it was kind of gummed up and stuff and then corroded I got it cleaned up spent a while doing that everything's functioning serviceable I just don't know a lot about that CT designation um, been a couple years since I tried to research anymore so if you know anything about the 500 CT what what that means <laughs> let me know in the comments below glad I got it all right last one here I'd be remiss if I did not uh, show this one or pick this one one of my builds and this is my A1 tribute build and it's tribute build because yeah it's not an M16 this is an AR-15 AR-15 lower people love to point that out yes I do not have a Colt automatic lower whatever uh, repop upper no brass deflector now the furniture itself is original takeoff stuff but it has been refurbished by a company called US Collectors Ordnance go check them out you can get stuff that's not refurbished you can get refurbished stuff so this I like the refurbished because if you see it in person you'll see the little character pit marks but the finish has been redone so it's kind of the best of both worlds original but you know I get to put all my little nicks and scratches in it myself type thing now I really like this one only thing I might do is I might swap out that bird cage there for a three prong later wait what okay so I think I gotta tag some people I'm there have been a lot of people tagged Gunwild one started this thing as far as I know and uh, great channel go check him out I'll tag 454 Packer and I'll put that his link down below and I'll tag um, Bobby Brown guns and drums how about that we'll see if they do it <laughs> thanks for watching hanging out boom